It's hard out here in these college football streets for smaller programs. It's just the truth. Hell, it's pretty much hard for anybody. But you have to find ways to be innovative if you want to stay in the rat race, of course. And any way that you can find an advantage in generating revenue is always welcome. And unfortunately, pretty much everything is for sale. That's why I'm not surprised one iota, one bit, or at all that FIU has sold their home stadium naming rights to world-famous musician Pitbull for a five-year period where the school will receive $5 million plus appearances and other things in the NIL space and beyond from Pitbull. I applaud them for doing this. And for those questioning how it affects tradition, I get why you might not like it, but again, unfortunately, it's necessary in the common space that we all share in college athletics today, especially for the little guy. Now, in this college football space where the programs with the money they survive. You have to get rich or die trying. There will be more small, small schools that do this, and we might end up having teams playing at Pitbull Stadium, Bieber Field, or the Shakira Bowl. And if that's what it takes to stay in the race, then so be it. Hell, the Big 12 commissioner was talking about selling the naming rights of the conference the other day, and they're one of the few power conference we have left. So if they have to do it, then you bet your bottom dollar that teams like FIU have to find a way to make money as well. Some schools have reached the we have to wrap our car in some random business phase. So, put up the garage sale signs. Get out the everything must go banner and have some water on standby because everything is for sale and it all has a price. The only valuable is the malleable. And at least in this instance, FIU is ahead of the curve. David Cohn, former Michigan quarterback, my brother, former Western State, Colorado wide receiver, Blaine Crane. Guys, I get it. You're having to find ways to make money. Right? You're, you're trying to find ways to be able to, to stay in the NIL race and still have nice facilities. And at a place like FIU, I mean, you got to get it by any means. And if Pitbull wants to do a deal, I don't think anybody is just, just super upset that <laughs> FIU is changing their stadium name. But David, why would you? Why wouldn't great. you? Great. Okay, great for FIU. You get $1.2 million a year for five years, and yep. Pitbull gets his name on a stadium. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. 305. Mr. Worldwide Stadium. Great. My question is. Uh, what, what did you call it? We're in the, uh, you got to wrap We need to car. wrap our car in a random, you know those people that, that pay to have their cars wrapped yes. in like a yes. law firm, they get like 300 bucks a month? My question is, how long will it be until every car is wrapped? Yeah. I guess to to just piggyback off your- Like the little guy or, the, or like everybody? Everybody. Like how long until, uh, uh, again, I mean, the University of Georgia is just called the University of-, of, of Well, see, to me, I feel like- of, Or Tennessee is called the University of Morgan Wallen. See, I feel Because Morgan like, Wallen paid $5 million. Then. Yeah, but I feel, like, I feel like this is just out of necessity. See, like, like know, Georgia but, doesn't- Of course, need, right now, Georgia I'm just doesn't saying, I'm that. looking 10 years down the road. Like, I guess my ultimate question is, will it ever still be cool to not have your car wrapped? Or is there going to come a period where it's like, man, we could get an extra $2 billion? Like every other school is doing this. Can we get an extra $2 million to, to just sell our naming rights? The only institution I know that's held off from this is the Rose Bowl where every bowl game just became, you know, the corporate sponsor, like that was the name of the bowl. The Rose Bowl has always said, look, we're going to be the Rose Bowl, but we'll still be presented by City or presented by, you know, whatever yeah. sponsor. Well, well, I, I think it will be cool to not have the quote-unquote car wrapped because it proves you don't need to have it wrapped. It's just like, it, it's out of necessity. Like, it's, it's probably a lot better to, to not have to sleep with the CPAP machine. But you need the CPAP machine, machi right, well, machine to sleep well. That's well, what I'm saying. Is Sometimes personal. it's out this of necessity now, okay. to be able to survive. Well, you know, again, Blaine, <laughs> speaking of getting personal, <laughs> hey. well, what are your thoughts? Are, are you down for a, a world and where this Sunbelt matchup is it's being played at, at Pitbull Stadium, and then the next week they're going to, to Brooks and Dunn Memorial Arena or whatever? Well, look, the thing about it is, like, how bad do you want to win if you're FIE and that's getting money by getting your stadium named after a Pitbull? Why not? Are we winning? We're on the track. You're Pit in a better spot than we were. Winning? Pitbull's winning. I, I just hey, mean how bad do you want to win, David? Y'all want to win pretty bad. You dress a guy up on the sidelines and set him there for seven days. First off, that goatee was fire. Okay, okay. so I get it to a certain extent. Are we going to get to the point? This reminds me of kind of like how much, how many ads can you allow on, on a surface before like the seizure thing comes up? Yeah, that's the ready player one. The ready player one. We're going to get to the point where we're already sold out. Everyone's sold but, out. But Everyone's going to be sold see, out. I, I it's not going to get to that. the point where you're changing the name of universities. 
I don't think. Okay. But I don't stadiums, think. Exactly. Helmet, equipment, r- wristwatches. We're going to get to the point where how, what can we put a, a value of money on? Can we sell this? There's a You can sell college football, of course, but the little minute things you can sell inside of college football, people aren't going to turn down money. Well, I, I just, again, I, I think this affects the schools that that have to do it first. I don't see a world in which, I mean, obviously they're they're changing. It's like Bryant Denny at Nick Saban Field or something like that. This, this to me, thinking that we're just, this is going to just bleed all the way like to Michigan and Ohio State and like LSU. I don't think they have to do that. This is just an innovative Smart thing, because nobody's clamoring on the tradition of FIU Stadium, mm-hmm. right? It'd be it. It's just different. Like if they, you do it at a smaller place that needs it. You're like, oh, okay, good. Not that there's not some traditional spots there, but it'd be a lot different if they're like, yeah, we're uh, uh we're gonna go change Jordan hair. Like th- that would cause like oh, an uproar, and Auburn doesn't need to do that. Well, I mean, I guess to the point where how much can this help us with NIL? Well, again, so that's so that's my ultimate question. Like, will it? Is it ever? Is it still going to remain cool to not need to brand a certain thing or a certain part of your stadium or a certain part of your institution? Oh yeah. Because if the answer to that is no, like if the answer, if we all just become as a society where it's like no, it's never cool or uncool, then every school is going to brand whatever they can, like it's because it's never, it's not going to matter. Yeah, but why like would I, you take an additional fifty bucks to put a sticker over there on Bryant Denny's? I, I think I, I just think. You know, tradition matters so much. In I hope so. Football. I hope you're and right. I, I just think you can get away with it at FIU. I don't think you're getting away with it at Neyland. Not right now. Like that. Not right now. And look, down the road, who the hell knows? And there was a stadium not that far but from there in Miami. I don't, I don't think this is the, 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 the anvil that's finally going to fall over the cliff that now just everybody does it. I think you'll see some of the other small schools do it. You're going to see people starting to kind of wake up to it in that group of five area. But speaking about waking up, we got phone lines that are open at 2.45 p.m. Central. We want to hear from you, 1-855-236-3228. All right, Chad, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. If you donate on topic, it will get red. We're going to start off with the Tiger guy, 1350. If we had the name, the Auburn, uh, Jordan Hare after one restaurant or artist, who would it be? Restaurant or, or, or artist. artist. I would say, golly. Oh, God, I just don't want to rename it. But if I had to go restaurant, what about Niffer Stadium? It's rock and roll. Honey mustard chicken sandwich, some corn, it's corn nuggets. That's how I live my life. <laughs> Come, what would you Restaurants? name your stadium? What would I name the big the house? The Little Brown Jug. The Little Brown Jug. House. The Little Brown the Jug. Little Brown Jug Everyone house. gets a free cheeseburger upon entry. I love that. As long as you bring in a scouting report of another team. Of course. Well, yeah. Yeah, I was getting it for free. I mean, again, this stadium we're talking about, Pitbull Stadium, that's not that far from FTX Arena. You know what happened with FTX Arena? No crypto on. I want to know if there's a morality clause where Pitbull, like the stadium. I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, why don't you come, come on in here? Come on in here, Pavela. That's my Pavela. Thank you, sir. I'll tell you what. Your look special at that. little coffee. Your special. Your special. Everybody straw. zoom in with this just cute little yeah, straw right here. Isn't that straw. just the cutest thing you ever thank seen? You, I, thank Pavel. you, Pavel. David. Thank you, Pavel. David. Of all the things I wasn't. Oh, let's go to Bobby B. Bobby, what is up? Is it, is it just me or is tradition, tradition slowly fading away in college football? It's I not mean, slow, Bobby. It's, th- there are spots where tradition is waning. I will give you that. But, I, I mean... Are, are we going to sit here? Are we going to die on the hill of, of FIU's stadium? No, I don't want to die. Yeah, you, you don't want to die on, on a hill. Come I don't even want to die on the Come th- holler at me when, like, Virginia Tech changes the name of their stadium or, or something, or, or Utah changes it from Rice Eccles to, like, Rice Aroni or something. You just let me know when that happens. I'm not, I'm not cu- hitting the panic button. We're not going to DEF CON 1 because of FIU decided to change their name from whatever it was to Pitt. Well, now at least we'll know what it is. I'll be like, oh, Pitbull Stadium. It's where FIU plays. Hmm. It's a win-win. Yeah. All right, let's go to Bo Bonner. Bo, what is up? He says, I would definitely name mine Chicken Finger Stadium, and do you think they're only allowed to play Pitbull songs in the stadium during the game? Uh, I would. That would be part of it. So I actually, so in this cause, there's some other stuff as well that, that Pitbull has to, uh, has to do. This is, this is why I liked it, because it had uh, some of these other uh, NIL things. So, he said that along with paying the $1.2 million a year, Pitbull's going to create an anthem for FIU. 
He's gonna post about the school regularly on social media at least 12 times a year and appear at one athletics fundraising event per year throughout the term of the agreement. Uh, agreement. Pitbull will get to use the stadium 10 days per year throughout the term of the deal, and the vodka company he owns will be the preferred brand distributed in the stadium. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, like, dude, Pitbull's like, let me tell you what this deal's gonna end. No, I love it. Yeah, here's yeah, the thing though, like, up, yeah, I'm gonna show up once. Look, right. well, that's that's gonna be the problem. Like, if you've ever watched an FIU game on TV, you know, it comes on like CBS Sports <laughs> Network. Like, there's nobody. <laughs> well, at that's games, how it and used right to now, be. and right now, you're competing against USF, right? Who's on the come up with Goalish? The amount of students that got there. Hell, UCF's in the Big Twelve now. With the Gus bus rearranging his pants 75 times mid-game. You're talking about but the All-State Conference? It. They're in the All-State Conference. Yeah, that All-State Conference. I know you want me. I know you need me. <laughs> what's going on over it's there? Pitbull. I saw oh, Pitbull. That's right. that's right. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Appreciate you guys stopping by. If you got a chance, which obviously you do, you're watching this, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on, and like this video, or unlike it, or kind of like it.